All right, Coach, just um, first talk a little bit about, you know, I guess good news, bad news, you lose. Bad news, you lose week one. Good news, though, you come right back and you play on the bye like you had last week. Last yeah, week. I mean, I'm looking forward to getting on the field today with the players, and I think they are too. Um, you know, obviously we have to talk about what happened. We have to evaluate. We have to be, uh, you know, uh, critical of everything that we did, both as coaches and players. Uh, but it's nice to get back in the field. you got to put it to rest to some degree. You have to learn those lessons, but you have to move on. We have another game to play this week, so um, you have to you know, put that on the shelf and, and get ready to play a good Towson team this week. We talked about a lot of things, but the number one thing that you're concerned with and addressing this week coming off the of Brian game? I, I think the emotional level of our, our club, uh, you know, and, and, and there's multiple theories I have about it, and I think uh, the players uh, have agreed to some extent, but, you know, uh, uh, this team has been very, very committed. We had 71 guys here this summer. Uh, we had a solid preseason camp. We've made some tremendous improvements. But somewhere along the line, we lost the fact that we got to show up on game day and play to our potential and play with a lot of emotion, and that just didn't happen, certainly not to the degree it should have. And I'm, I'm not quite sure why, um, but... I think uh, there was a huge commitment, so sometimes you think you put all that good uh, good hard work in and it's going to mean you're going to win, uh, and, and nothing's guaranteed. The hard work doesn't guarantee anything. You have to go out there and get it done on game day as well. Towson comes in, obviously, they, they just beat UConn, and uh, you called them one of the top teams that you guys have played here or will play here. What uh, what challenges do they have? They're just a really good team all, all the way around. Um, you know, they... Uh, they, they I was very impressed with what they did against UConn last week. You know, they played an FBS team. They didn't try to beat them with trickery or anything. They went out and ran their offense, defense, and special teams. And they performed at a very high level. Um, so uh, I was impressed with how they played. Um, they have a, a very well-coached team, um, and uh, they're very talented across the board. They're big up front. They have very good skill players. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those uh, one of those games there's going to be no problem getting excited to play a team of this caliber. And I think it's exactly what we need, especially coming off of last week's performance. And this week, what do you what do you need to do well against Towson to uh, pull out a victory? We need to do everything a lot better than we did last week. I mean, we just have to play with a lot more emotion. We have to execute our assignments a, a lot better. And uh, as coaches, we have to devise a game plan that's going to put our players in a position to win. Um, you know, they're, they're a very talented team, so you, we're going to have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to scheme them up in all three phases um, so that we're in the best position so that our players can succeed. And then uh, I think that, that, you know, above and beyond that, we really need to have that belief level. You have to believe you can do it and go out there and execute the game plan. And, um, you know, I think uh, that's part, that is one thing that I'm hoping that we don't have any trouble with this week. And you obviously came up short in the field goal, but the, any kind of thought on that belief level got better as the game went on because of that last drive that the offense was able to engineer and get yourself a chance? I think the belief level you know, got a lot better after halftime. Um, but unfortunately, we kept uh, making the same mistakes. You know, some mistakes are going to happen because your opponent is well prepared. They work real hard, too. They're going to make plays. You don't like that. You want to still win and execute every single play. Um, but the mistakes, many of the mistakes that we made were procedural penalties, drop passes, um, you know, not getting in the right position on defense, things like that. Things that are completely correctable and things that we were, we were capable of doing this no matter who we were playing. So those are the things that uh, I think really set us back. But as far as going out there and playing hard and everything, that's something that we did do in the second half. We just didn't play mistake-free football. And just lastly, a win on Saturday over Towson is making a really short memory of the Bryant game. Is this the type of game that if you pull this out, it just really restarts your entire year? Absolutely. Um, you have to have a short memory to a certain degree. You have to, like I said earlier, make, learn the lessons, good and bad, from uh, your past experiences. But if you can't put last week's uh, performance, whether it's a win or a loss, you know, because you know, sometimes a win can cost you a, a win the, the following week. You have to put it on the shelf. Every week is a new, uh, a new season. It's a one-game season, and you prepare like that. And, um, I think it's going to help uh, a lot, you know, with the motivation for this week. But at the same time, we got to forget about last week uh, and, and get moving on on a very good opponent.